Hello my dear jewelry lovers, today I will tell you an interesting story about Maria, of Tex Marvellous Sunbeam's Bando Tiara, which was loved by Princess Margaret. It is an undeniable fact that the British royal family owns a plethora of jewelry, from majestic tiaras to an endless array of diamond earrings, necklaces and brooches. Each beautiful stone in the treasury of the monarchs of the United Kingdom has a unique story to tell. It is not always possible to trace the fate of jewellery through the years. Many pieces are dismantled, refurbished and updated, but there are also those that end their public shine forever. Today, I would like to introduce you to a piece of the royal family's lavish sapphire collection. No, no, this is not the engagement ring with sail on sapphire of the Princess of Wales. The heroine of our story will be a sapphire tiara bandeau sunbeams. The appearance of the jewellery in the English treasury is somewhat vague. The first royal to present a sapphire crown to the public was Queen Mary of Tech. Elizabeth II's grandmother used the tiara frequently during the final years of her husband George V's reign. The Sunbeams Bandeau Tiara is a flexible diamond bandeau with a sunburst design. The centerpiece of the jewellery is a removable sapphire brooch. The wreath has the shape of a small Russian kokoshnik, and according to the only reliable source, the tiara is indeed of Russian origin. The jewel was acquired by Mary, of tech from the Dowager Empress Maria Fyodorovna, along with several other pieces of jewellery. Queen Mary bequeathed the bandeau tiara to her daughter-in-law Elizabeth Bowes Lyon. The design of the jewellery was not suitable for the Queen Mother's images, so she never wore it in public. The sapphire crown was honoured to adorn Princess Margaret's high hairstyle. Indeed, the youngest daughter of the royal couple often used the bandeau tiara, both before and after her marriage in 1960. The princess's most spectacular appearance in the sun jewellery took place in the spring of 1958, during her tour of the West Indies. In April, she arrived in Trinidad to act as the Queen's special representative at the inauguration of Lord Hales, Governor General of the Federation of the West Indies. After the official functions, Princess Margaret attended a gala dinner at the Lord's residence. Margaret's evening look was truly sumptuous. The delicate blue dress, created by Royal Taylor Norman Hartnell, was decorated with blue and silver lace. The bodice and skirt of the gown shimmered with the precious luster of sapphires and diamonds. The hem of the dress was adorned with a large bow. The sparkle of the sunray bandeau tiara was complemented by diamond and sapphire earrings, now worn by Margaret's daughter Lady Sarah Chateau. The rebel princess neck was framed by a Lady Mount Stephen necklace. Her wrists were adorned with a pair of pearl bracelets. Incidentally, the clasps of the bracelets bear the letter ciphers of King William IV and his wife Adelaide. Of Saxe Meiningen, Margaret wore several British honours the ribbon and star of the Royal Victorian Order, as well as her father's and sister's Royal House Orders and the Order of the Crown of India. The Royal Victorian Order ribbon was held by a pair of brooches. A diamond flower brooch was pinned to the corsage of her dress. A sapphire cluster brooch held the ribbon on her shoulder. The Sunbeam's bandeau tiara accompanied Margaret on a state visit by German President Hoyes. In 1958 and three years later, at the wedding of Princess Astrid of Norway, Margaret also used the centerpiece of the tiara, a sapphire brooch, for both day and evening events. At a performance by the British instrumental rock band The Shadows in London in March 1962, the bodice of the princess's dress is adorned with this particular brooch. The current whereabouts of the unique piece of jewellery are unknown. Perhaps the sapphire tiara bandeau was dismantled by royal jewellers to create more modern jewellery. There is also a version of its sale at auction, along with some of Princess Margaret's jewellery. Let's hope that the jewel will still show itself to the public.